Hi, my name is Anna, and today I'm going to show you how you can add MQTT to your application. I will use the Selfie Basic as my existing application. What I want to do now is to extend the application so that the picture is sent to an MQTT broker so I can view the pictures on a different machine. Since I don't have the MQTT library, I'm going to start by importing it. You will find it in Team Reference Systems. Okay, so now you're ready to use blocks from the MQTT library. Okay, we're going to use the robust MQTT block. Drag and drop the robust MQTT from the library into your application. You can adjust the size and positions as well as the orientation and positions of the pins. The init pin requires data of type parameters. So we'll add an operation providing parameters. Write in the code to specify the MQTT broker, which will be used to initialize robust MQTT. We're going to use the MQTT block to publish the images. The publish pin requires data of type MQTT message. So we're going to add another operation to transform the buffered images to an MQTT message. Okay, so then we're ready to connect. It's useful to have a look at the contract of the block to see how it is used. It will show you how to use it correctly in what order you can send and receive data. Okay, so then we have it all connected. Next, we can analyze the system to see if it is okay. Looks like I was a little bit too quick. The flow harms the ESM. The problem is that the data is sent on the publish pin when the robust MQTT is still in the initializing state. We need to add a zero timer so that the block can enter the active state before the data traverses that pin. So now it all works. You can then build and run it. The picture can be received by any machine subscribing to the MQTT messages. You need a small application running on that machine. For now, I'm just going to use the same machine. I start by making a new application. I will use two existing blocks. I will use the robust MQTT block to subscribe to the MQTT messages, and then I'll use the display block to display pictures on the screen. And then I need to add two methods, one to initialize the block, and one to extract the images from the MQTT message. And then I connect. It looks good. The next step is to generate the code. And now you can start both applications. First, the application receiving the images. If you did it right, you should see two pictures on the screen. Want to give it a try? Follow the selfie to MQTT tutorial. Then try extending your own application with MQTT.